What's good everyone? This is Marcus DeFingas back with another video. In this video, I'm going to go over the new MK, uh, what is it, Sensation Extreme Synth by Gospel Musicians. Let me make sure I got the name right. Uh, MK Sensation Extreme Synth by Gospel Musicians. I haven't opened it up yet. All I've done was downloaded it uh, yesterday, I believe, and then downloaded all the sounds onto the iPad. There are 12 gigabytes of sounds, so you need to make sure you have enough room on your iPad, or you can also uh, load them from an external drive. There are videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. This is going to be my first time opening it up on um, my iPad. I've watched some of the YouTube videos, seen some of the, uh, heard some of the sounds on YouTube, but this is going to be my first experience opening it up. Um, so I've done nothing except open up my session here in BeatMaker 3 and sync my keyboard via MIDI to the iPad. So before I forget, before we get too far into this video, make sure you go to defingas.com, D-A-F-I-N-G-A-Z.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter where I share weekly tips on networking, on motivation, inspiration, on being a music creator and how to balance your creative life with life life and other things. So go to defingas.com, D-A-F-I-N-G-A-Z.com and sign up for my newsletter. All right, let's continue. We're going to open up MK Sensation Extreme um, here. And right off the bat, uh, if you're familiar with other gospel musicians plugins, um, the layout is pretty similar to what we've seen in other plugins, the color designs and everything like that. Um, this is the initialized sound. And the plan will not be to make a beat or anything. Maybe I'll come up with an idea that I want to record, but I'll just go over some of the sounds. So right away, a glitch on the iPad. I'm not using any beta software. I'm going to restart uh, the plugin and see if that fixes that error. And I'm going to make sure my keyboard is synced up again. We'll hit connect. And this is probably not the plugin itself. It might just be my iPad. Again, I'm not using any beta software. I know there were some issues with people using beta software, things like that. Uh, but we're going to load everything up again. I'm going to keep all this in the video just so you see the experience that I'm having. This is probably singular to me. So there we go. I'm going to go through some of the sounds, um, just through some of the presets here. Uh, again, if you've seen some of the videos, you can load up some of your own um, DAW sounds from your iPad, I believe, if you hold down here. Um, or you go to sound, you go up here, you can go down to the plugin loader. There's other videos showing you how to do all of this. I'm going to make this window bigger. Um, I'm going to go through some of the presets at the very, very top. So what I'm going to do is close this window, go all the way up to the top, and we're going to go through uh, the factory content here. And I'm going to just choose, uh, we'll go to gospel stacks, and I'm going to choose flowing in the prophetic. <laughs> Away. I could definitely have used that <laughs> in church a few weeks ago, but moving forward, this is definitely going to be one of my go-to apps, especially for playing in church. But for like R&B, hip-hop, pop stuff, find the sound you want, layer it. <laughs> What I like is that it already has the sounds layered that I would probably layer in something like AUM or uh, layering with MIDI other sounds together. It's already built into one sound, so I might just find a preset that I like. I'll probably mark some favorites and go through some of these sounds. But let's go through another one. We'll go to Modern Shout. <laughs> That's uh, probably my keyboard MIDI getting stuck. Um. Um, yeah, take me back to church. Uh, we'll go to Shout and John. It already has that subtle delay in there. Let's go to, we'll scroll down, and it looks like I might be losing something at the bottom of the interface here. I'm going to close it out, open it back up, um, 
and we'll go to, I can't see what's under shouting saws. <laughs> Uh, we'll go to Tyne. Um, it looks like I'm losing something, some stuff at the bottom here, but that could just be, again, my app here. i got to let things sort of figure it th itself out, maybe restart the iPad down the line, but I'm just going to keep going, going through the sounds that we can see. You get the idea. Let's go here. Yeah, the layers are incredible. Um, again, I would probably take these in the R and B route uh, and do like some. Uh... couple more here. messing around we'll go to some of the splits here let's do pad split two um we'll do so i think we have a bass okay so we have chords in the right hand and we have like solo thing in the right in the chords in the left hand solos in the right hand let's see let me see what the split is right there so we'll do uh this headphone thing there we go Hit up, get me a songwriter, get me hit maker, Pooh Bear, you know, uh, Derek Milano, give me one of them, uh, Taylor Parks, Victoria Monet. <laughs> See, I like that so much. I got. I might have to. I might have to keep that. I might have to come back to this video and sample that part because, um, yeah, I, I got someone in mind for that.
I just added some because I might sample that, you know, sample my own self and make a song out of it. Um, last but not least, Analog Sense. <laughs> Sounds are incredible. Let's see. I think I just had the app shut down on me um, again. Um, I got to maybe do some. Yep. It just crashed on me in beat maker three, which could be a combination of both things. I probably would use it. I might use a standalone or an AUM and then bring it over. Um, so many options here. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this video here. Um, I got some, <laughs> I got some samples that I actually want to uh, mess with in this video. I might go back and revisit or I might just leave it as is. And if anyone out there hears this video and wants to sample it, definitely check it out. Um, sample it let's get some placements but shout out to gospel musicians this is mk sensation extreme incredible sounds i think for me i'm really going to use it in the live setting uh, i might even hook this up to logic pro on the computer and just have the sounds come from my ipad to logic pro it is available on the desktop but you get it much cheaper on the ipad so uh, there are ways where you can connect the ipad uh, to your computer and have it be a sound module in logic pro specifically because of apple connection and things like that um but shout out to gospel musicians shout out to jamal hartwell and his whole team for creating another dope app um, whenever they come out with apps it's in a, it's an event um, it is a, a movement um, incredible sounds especially for people with a gospel musician background um, but if you are a keyboardist um, you're making R&B music pop music dance hall uh, reggae uh, hip-hop whatever you're making there is a way that you can incorporate these sounds into that even cinematic stuff um, which I've been into a lot lately um, so definitely shout out to Jamal, shout out to Gospel Musicians. This has been uh, DeFingas, again, with another review of MK Sensation. Uh, definitely check it out if you all are interested. It is on the iOS App Store. It is also available for desktop computers uh, for your productions. Uh, I got more music on the way, more videos on the way. Be safe and be well, everyone. All right? All right, peace.